We do have rain chances back in the forecast, Isaac. Tomorrow morning, we do have a storm chance. Yeah. Uh, we're going to get into that here real quick. But what if I told you we set a record high temperature? The second consecutive record high temperature was set at Tyler today. Observed 88 degrees was your high. The old record, 87, that occurred twice back in 1977 and 1940, as you'll see on the almanac. 88 degrees, that was your high temperature. 72 was the low. The normal is 74 and 52 for this time of the year. Of course, nowhere near the record low of 24 set back in 1917. Satellite and radar, the front is still up to our northwest and that will be making its rounds into the area as we move into your Thursday. So this is midnight tonight. You can see that line of showers and thunderstorms beginning to materialize out to the west of DFW. But here in East Texas, we're looking fairly dry. But as we move towards tomorrow morning, things will get interesting. We will see a line of showers and thunderstorms moving through our western counties at five. And this is where we could see a strong wind gust along the line, maybe a little bit of hail as well. The line itself moves through the area. Now, this is not going to be a widespread soaking of two, three, four inches of rain, but we will definitely see widespread rain tomorrow morning. This is 10 o'clock in the morning. You can see from Jacksonville, Henderson up to Jefferson. We're still seeing the rain and some of that will linger in deep east Texas tomorrow afternoon. This is four o'clock, but notice the drier air moving in behind the line of showers and thunderstorms here. So we'll see mostly clear skies to the west. And then as we look at nine o'clock, not a lot going on. I think we're fine regardless of where you are in East Texas for any trick or treat activities or trunk or treat activities or any Halloween parties as well. As we look at 10 o'clock in the morning, partly to mostly cloudy skies Friday morning. And then as we move towards Friday evening right now, I do think most of the football games will go on without incident and without a lot of rain in the area. But nonetheless, we will certainly keep an eye on it. Some of us may see showers here and there on Friday. So here's the severe weather outlook for tonight. Slight risk of severe weather for Mount Pleasant and Sulphur Springs. But as the line moves further to the east, it will weaken, hence the one level lower of a severe weather threat. That's a marginal threat for Tyler and Longview. So the main threats will be of 60 mile per hour winds and quarter sized hail as they move through the area tomorrow morning and then our northeastern counties under a marginal risk. How much rain could we pick up? Well, it's not only the rain that we will see tomorrow. It's also the rain chances we have this weekend and early next week. The heaviest totals of course off to the west, but most of East Texas will see one to three inches of rain. Quick look at that Halloween forecast. 80 degrees through 3 o'clock. We'll still see clouds at 3, but cloud cover will decrease by 6. We'll be at 76 and 68 degrees by 9 with a few passing clouds. So excellent conditions for the kiddos that might be trick or treating tomorrow. Tonight, on the other hand, maybe not so much. 69 degrees rain chances will occur after midnight and then tomorrow mainly some morning showers and thunderstorms. The further west and northwest you go, those storms could be borderline severe at times, but the rain cooled air and tomorrow's cloud cover will keep high temperatures in the lower 80s. And as we look at the next seven days, temperatures will be in the upper 70s and lower 80s. And we could see some showers and thunderstorms for next Monday and also Election Day on Tuesday, but we should start to see those rain chances taper off by the middle part of next week. In deep East Texas, more of the same here. For Halloween, rain is done by the night, and then by November 1st, we could see a few showers and thunderstorms, and we'll continue with rain chances through the middle part of next week. Isaac. Thank you, Carson. Coming up, we've